good day everybody today we're going to do lesson plan number six for grade two term two remember lesson plan one to five were revision um, activities so if you need those you can download them from our website um, so let's quickly start so we're going to focus on numbers 21 to 30 um, the DBE workbook link is then um, worksheet number 33 so I'm quickly going to show you that so here you have worksheet number 33 um, so firstly Again, we have our caps link, so you can see where it fits into the caps. Um, here, what we have is all the, the resources we're going to use during the lesson. Um, on the right-hand side, the dictionary words that we might use in the um, lesson that's not so familiar to parents. Um, please note that your children don't have to learn these words. So let's then look at the lesson. So the daily routine is just simply ask, Whose birthday is it? What's the date? What's the time? What's the weather? Left or right? Is there anybody absent in the class or maybe absent in your family or friends and so on? So then what we're going to do is we're going to go counting. This is where I want the learners to join us. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to count from a certain number up to 100 in tens. So the first one I'm going to do with you. So we're going to say 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. I want you quickly to repeat it with me. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now I want you to pause the video and I want you to do count from 70 to 100, 50 to 100, 90 to 100. Welcome back. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the mental maths for today. Remember, we're still focusing um, on counting in tens. So um, we're going to do these. You can do it in writing books or you can do it orally. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to reveal some tips. So these are tips that you can use. For instance, when we say 20 plus 30, the child can say 20 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, or we can say 20 and count on 30, 40, 50. Please make use of these tips or guidelines to add these numbers. It might take the child a while. Please be patient. It's time to pause the video now. Let's then go to the lesson. So first, I want the children quickly to count these blocks. How many are there? How many yellow blocks are there? That's correct. We got 10 year and we got 10 year. Which one is easier to use? Yes, when it's in a rod, we call this a rod. So every time when we say see this rod, we know it's 10. So let's move to this side. So how many cubes do we have or blocks? We have 21 because we count 10, 20, 21. We can also show it with our place value cards or flawed cards. 20 and a 1, place the 1 on top of the unit's place, and then we got 21. If you have flawed cards at home, I want you to build the number 24 and then to write it. If you don't have flawed cards at home, write down a 20 like here and then make a block with a unit 4. After that, what you do is you write the number 24. Parents, teachers, please note that some children might write 204 because they hear 24 and I don't understand the place value of these numbers so let's quickly look at these examples I want you to do these um, I'm going to do one with you so I'm going to look at this one look where my cursor is so it is 24 I counted 10 20 21 22 23 24 so I want you now with your parent or your teacher to go and count each of these. I want you to pause your video now. Welcome back. I want you now to reveal the answers.
and to see if this is what you got. Excellent. We did some counting and we did some number recognition. So let's quickly see. Parents and teachers. Um, if your child can't write the number, always go back to the concrete, to the blocks. Um, to what you can do is you could draw sticks, but please make sure that they understand that we're counting groups of 10. Don't let them draw 22 little sticks. Then what we did is we um, have the number and they represent it by showing it with these little blocks. Um, you can also, from our resources, you can print out these blocks and they can build these numbers. Remember with the flawed cards, if they struggle to understand 24 and write it as 204, let them, you can make these cards by having a 20 and a 4 and then place the 4 on top of the units. And then we can go to the worksheet. So here you will have then a typical SA teacher worksheet where the children can fill it in and they can write the number names. Then at the end of the lesson for the teacher or the parent, what you can do is you're going to ask these questions and say if the child yes or no could do it. If they couldn't do it, then you need to go back or you need to give us a call so you, we can help to intervene. Thank you very much and enjoy your day.